In this video, I'll show you how to put antennas up in trees using a drone and an arbor weight. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is John Jacobs, W7DBO with the Field Radio Podcast, and thank you for clicking and tuning in. In this video, this is a follow-up to my Field Day 2020 recap, where I talked about and showed using a drone to drop an arbor's weight up and over a tree. Now, there are other methods to do it, including slingshots and potato guns, but really, if you have a drone, uh, this is kind of a fun project to do, and it gives you precision in exactly where you want your line to be deployed for something like a dipole antenna or an NFED antenna like I did. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously just a drone. Now this is just the Mavic Pro. Uh, there's the newer ones out. And so this is just your, your typical drone and we're gonna modify this to be able to drop a payload. So the magic piece with this is this little clip here. It's battery operated and it, it harnesses around the drone and has a, a little tiny actuator here that'll open and close and that'll give us uh, the ability to release a payload. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is, uh, this is a Weaver Arbor's weight. This is actually meant if you throw it up in the tree, uh, it works great for that, but we're using it for this. So uh, it's an Arbor's weight with, with rope and then a Weaver deploy bag. So all these components uh, I'll put in the descriptions uh, so you can go see what works with your drone. The one I have is specific to the Mavic Pro, but there's other models that are available uh, with that same company. So before we get started, we need to talk about safety and legality. So first of all, you need to make, make sure that you are flying in a legal area and that nobody is underneath the drone. Obviously with the payload, you do not want anybody under the drone. And so you need to make sure you have your drone registered and licensed uh, inside the United States. And depending on your country, you have other requirements. Uh, if you fly a drone professionally like I do, uh, then you get your FAA remote drone certification license. Uh, that allows you greater areas to fly. And so the other thing is, is, is yes, we are dropping a weight from it. And so we need to be able to do that uh, safely. So the first thing to get started is be able to get the device connected to the drone. So we'll flip the drone over and we'll slide it in here. And it's meant to fit inside the grooves there of my device. And then I'll flip it over and put this turnbuckle on and that'll lock it in. Now, this Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 uh, has really low ground clearance, uh, so we need to put some extension legs on, and this came with mine. So we'll just add a little extra height uh, when it's sitting on the ground. Okay, so what I like about this model is uh, there are ones that are generic and they'll just strap to your drone, uh, and then you use a second transmitter receiver to release uh, the payload. Now, the only problem with that is you're dealing with a secondary receiving device, which you might have flown out of range or it's not working and then you're unable to release. And then you're dealing with the payload, the unable to release, and now you're trying to bring it back and land it with the rope and everything on it. Uh, so uh, I like this because what it does is on the Mavic here, there's some forward facing LED lights. These are the red lights. Uh, you can turn these on and off with a custom button switch on your Mavic remote. So what we have here is a light device, uh, just a light sensor that's going to notice when this light turns on and off and that's what's gonna send the signal uh, to release. So you don't have to deal with a secondary transmitter and you know that if your drone is within range, uh, your actuator is within range. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that up here. It comes with a little rubber band. Uh, someday I'll find a little better way to secure this on here than the rubber band, but it seems to work. Uh, so we just put that light sensor over, and it doesn't matter either side. Uh, it just depends on what side you've set the drone up on. We're gonna put this on. And that just keeps the tension of that uh, light sensor. There we go. Uh, Next step is it comes with a little fastener. So we're gonna put that on there. It's good to have just because you do have a cable that's pretty close to your props. Uh, and then it powers on. So this has a little battery inside. Uh, it's charges via USB. And so we'll get it turned on and it's ready to go. 
So uh, the Arbor's weight, what I've done here is I have the 12 ounce. Uh, still, that seems like it's pretty heavy. Uh, you could open this up and, and dump some out. Uh, but 12 ounce even works with the Mavic, so it's not that heavy of a payload. But what I did is I gave it just a little bit of extra string length. And then uh, they give you this little ring. And the reason why you need to use this ring is because uh, even the it's so tight in there that you don't want to get snagged, that actuator, you don't want it to get snagged and either break your device or not get a, a good clean release. And so I just put a little loop in there and put this on and then that keeps the weight away from the prop and everything and it works great. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so now with the drone turned on, the device turned on, the actuator is open because the light is on. Go ahead and put the ring in, turn off the light, and now it's closed. We've done our pre-flight checklist, and so we are ready to take off. So we'll go out in the yard and uh, give this a try. Okay, we're all set up. We got the drone and then the weight is set aside in the payout bag. So we'll go ahead and fire up. So we just take it to the height we want. As you can see, as high as I go, that pays out quite nicely, the rope. So we'll find a safe spot to drop the line. Once we're ready to drop, I'll hit the button. Just like that, we've got a line over the tree now. Now we can pull up the antenna. So to put the line back in the bag, all I do is I just kind of two hand stuff it. You don't need to kind of roll it or do anything special. Uh, just kind of stuff it back in the bag and it plays out quite nicely as you can see uh, when it came back up. Hope you found this video helpful in learning how to use a drone to be able to get your antennas in the tree. My name is John W7DBO with Field Radio Podcast. Remember, like and subscribe to get notifications of new videos. And with that, I hope to see you on the air. 73.